Celebrating the greatest achievement in mankind's history, IBTN Network presents History of Space Travel, Ganymede. Ganymede, first discovered by the 17th century astronomer Galileo Galilei, it was just a distant moon orbiting the gas giant Jupiter, nearly twice the size of Earth's moon. Ganymede was old and battered with an icy surface that seemed too hostile for mankind. It was hard to believe that the International Space Exploration Union planned to colonize a base there. Despite opposition, ISEU launched its most challenging project in 2050, the Artificial Environment and Atmosphere Experiment, sending three automated spaceships to terraform Ganymede into a planet fit for humans. Heavy equipment set off giant chain reactions, eventually creating life. Even with the most advanced techniques, this process took years. Finally, in 2072, Ganymede was ready for habitation. New Atlantis, the base colony, was in place. It was an amazing transformation from such primitive beginnings. The colony was able to sustain large numbers of people and soon became home to thousands. But even the most progressive societies are flawed. Failed safety measures caused an explosion at the fusion power plant, killing dozens of workers. A grim reminder of human fallibility, ever present despite technology. Several members of the security force Here were we go fired again. as a result of this tragedy. What else is new? Security and safety guidelines became top priority for the Ganymede colony. <laughs> a special military unit was formed to prevent further disasters, but Ganymede still maintained its military independence. Unlike Earth, today's Ganymede is peaceful and stable. Better get overtime for this. Oh boy. Tyler! Into the goddamn radio, would ya? Tyler! What the hell's going on? Yeah. Hey, Grease Monkey! Get your ass to the backup generators and fix the power! Take the others with you! Get that power up now! Yeah, sure. Move it, you moron! Hey, Tyler, how's it going? We gotta fix the power. Come on, let's go. I've had enough of his bitching. I guess our favorite commander got up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah, Ty. Why does the boss always ride you so hard? They worked in the same place a couple of years ago. Tyler was in charge back then. Sounds juicy. Play it on me. Crappy equipment broke down and Tyler's security team got the blame. Ah, <laughs> that explains a lot. No wonder you kept your mouth shut. Yeah, loose lips sink ships, eh, Tyler? No sweat. Let's get this power going already. Tyler. Think you could fix these transmitters before Carter and I get to the control room? Sure, no problem. Well, the lights are still flickering, but at least we can get a move on now. Would you believe Rodman here couldn't remember his access code? Getting old, buddy. All right, we're going to the control room now. I'll be done in a flash. Mission accomplished. I'll meet you in the control room so we can fix the reactor and get out of here. Good. I don't know why, but this place is giving me the creeps. I swear there's something out there. Can't see anything, though. It's just your mind playing tricks on you. Uh -uh, not this time. This is for real. What the hell?
Come on. Why'd you ditch your flashlight? You trying to scare me? Hey, I'm too old for this shit. Contact security. We need your help. What choice do I have? I got my wheels. I'll be there soon. Try to hold on. <laughs> 